Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Kamila Jana. I am from UI and Sharif Hidayatullah Jakarta. I am going to express my opinion about Islamic economic accommodates capitalism. Today, no one can deny the dominance of the capitalism regime over the global war civilization. The end of the Cold War following the collapse of communism, socialism of the Soviet Union and its satellite states is often interpreted as the factory of capitalism. In almost every sector of life, the logic and culture of capitalism are present to drive activities. Criticism aimed at capitalism leads to co-opting of this criticism to further strengthen capitalism. Islam, as a complete classical religion, regulates all aspects of human life, including the economy. Islam economics is a science that studies human economics behavior based on Islamic religion rules based on Tawhid as contained in the pillars of faith and the pillars of Islam. Islamic economic has been born when Muhammad Wasallam started his career as a trader. Although Islamic institutions at the time had not yet emerged, Muhammad had practiced a training system that was later accommodated in Islam. Of course, Islamic economics has distinctive characteristics that distinguish it from others, including capitalism. About capitalism, several questions arise. Has the Islamic economic accommodated the is capitalism economic system? The main contradiction between capitalism and Islamic economic lies in its individual principle, where capitalism strongly upholds freedom of endeavor with a spirit of competition between individuals without at all questioning the accumulation of wealth, its development by usury and capital accumulation, as well as the problem of spending that abandons social values. Furthermore, the economic structure of capitalism is unlimited free competition. This leads to competition between individual interests and public interests. Meanwhile, the Islamic economic system emphasizes the importance of paying attention to the public interest and making a positive contribution to society. The same applies to the relationship between the capitalist economic system, nature, and God. Indeed, the system has exploited nature to fulfill personal and group ambition. As a result, there is a process of the decadence of divine values between humans and their God. The humanization between humans and other humans, and this harmony between humans and nature. The reality is that capitalist economics brings progress but only inequality and social injustice. The occurrence of corruption, collusion, nepotism, and prolonged economic crisis due to the freedom of individuals in the capitalist economic system. The Islamic economic system is different from the capitalist economic system. The Islamic economic system has the goodness that exists in the capitalist economic system, but is free from the weakness contained in the system. The Islamic economic system has characteristic the perfect the liberal economic system. Islamic does not look at economic problems from a capitalist point of view that give freedom and property rights to individuals and encourages individual businesses. But Islamic justice fires selfishness without allowing into damaged society. Islam and capitalism are two forces that interact and influence each other. Given the importance of harmony between Islam and capitalism, more active and sustained efforts are needed to explore and apply Islamic principle in context of capitalist economics. Economic actors, but individuals and institutions needed to prioritize the values of justice, balance, and social responsibility in economic activities. In this case, an active role is also needed from scholars, 
academics and community leaders to provide guidance and a correct understanding of the compatibility between Islam principle and capitalist economic practice. Thus, an economic system can be created that reflect Islamic values and provided benefits for the entire community, as well as maintain a balance between individual interests and public interests. That's my recommendation about Islamic economic economics capitalism. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.